Japan. Oh. I don't know. I was trying to, to share the screen and ah, all of a sudden, okay. <laughs> all of a sudden you guys, you know, kick me out of this session. Come on, Miguel, don't do that, please. You're so me. Okay, um, so I'm sorry. I was actually about to share the screen when this happened. Um, so have you guys watched the video about obligation, prohibition and permission? Yes, you have done that? Great. So we have exactly 28 minutes to talk about this. Let me see, let me share the screen now. Hopefully it's not gonna get frozen again. <laughs> Let's see. Now, give me some examples how to um, talk about permission. What do we use? Use can. Oh, okay. You can, for example, you can sit here. Hmm. Okay. Is there any other way to talk about permission? Allowed. Allowed. Okay, Allowed. good. What about, I can see you have, you have some. It's great, really good. What about obligation? Have to. Have to. Go. Need to. Need to. Oh, need to? Can we use need to to talk about obligation? Okay. Well, what else? Maybe. maybe. Yeah, we'll say maybe. And because I don't want to narrow things, I don't want to say only these are the only ways to talk about obligation because there are many ways to do so. Now, uh, on the video and on this session, there are some structures suggested which I can see that you have already um, gone through about this, okay? I can, do you guys see my screen now? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. Right. yes. Now, now it's a yes, I'm glad. Let's move on then. Well, uh, we have permission, but my first question is, maybe you already have the answer. Are you allowed to drive and use your phone? Novia, are you allowed to drive and use your phone? Uh, you, you can't. Uh, sería como negativo, que no se puede. You can't. Uh, mm, the answer sería. Mm -hmm. So I just want your answer for, for this. Why? Because because uh, you can you um you how do you say accident? Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, I can't use because I have a accident. I can't use it because I can't to use i can't use so you don't see, okay i can't use after can't, I can't use. give me the word i can't use because yes because uh, you will have will have an accident okay. because you can have an accident you will have an accident very good okay what are other things that are prohibited or not allowed when you are driving What are some things that is not permitted, is not allowed when you are driving? Don't distract of the way. Don't distract, okay. Okay, don't distract. Don't get distracted on, on the way, okay. Distract, uh -huh. distraction. Sorry. No distractions, right? Good, and are you allowed to text? No. While driving? All right. Have you um, ever texted anyone while you are driving? Have you guys done that? No? Yes? No. Only when you get to the traffic light, you stop and then you start texting oh no <laughs> no i can see you guys it's very um I, I would say it can't wait okay sometimes just by sending a message you know distractions as you said it you know this can cause terrible accidents 
Well, now let's talk about those things that are permitted, that are allowed, and some of those things that you know are not allowed. Okay, so let's let's talk about this and give me examples, please. I want examples. Permission. Give me one sentence that denotes permission. Okay, one sentence. As you would like to. I'm not giving you any structure. Your own your own style. Give me a sentence where uh, you express permission. You are a boss. What do you say to your? You you can you walk can see the TV on show the, on the yellow line. Nice, good. What else? Give me more. Give me more sentences, please. I could be that. I'm so sorry. I could be. I could eat. I could that. eat that. Okay. You saying could? You see, that's past, and that's another model. Us. I like it. What else? Give me more examples, please. With permission. That then takes permission. Uh-huh. You can play the guitar you can see the, the TV house, in the house for today. Nice. Two examples. Really good. And what about let's move on? What about obligation? Give me some some uh, sentences. Mm -hmm. Obligation. Because you already watched the video, right? So give me some sentences with obligation. You have to work. <laughs> you have to work, otherwise you're not going to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What what other sentences? Milton. Please participate, guys. Uh, Gerardo, Yale, Nubia. You, you, you have to go you, to school. <laughs> you have to go to school, come yeah. on. Yeah. Other things, Breeze, Blanca, El, Alex, give me your sentences, obligations. You have room at the hospital because your wife uh, had an uh, accident. Okay, you have to run to the hospital because you had an accident. Good. Obligation? Like, uh, your example. Obligation, yes. To, obligation. I need to pay every month the, the college for my child. Every month. Wow, that's an obligation. So you have to pay your your uh, ch child's tuition, right? I mean, this yeah. is more the you, uh, you, you have to pick up your toys. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, don't make any disorder. In now, the house. in this moment. Like now, period. <laughs> you what should, about? Uh -huh, go you ahead. Should, you should study for the exam. Should study, should study, okay. And maybe if you if you do it with a very like um I don't know with your tone of voice then it taste that you are being really like serious. Should is more like for recommendations, but then maybe right if you if you say like if you make it sound as if it is an obligation, but should is more like for recommendations and you suggestions. Have, mm -hmm. You have a study. You have to study. Yeah, I would rather say that you have to how about prohibition what do you say when you want to prohibit something to your kids if you have kids you can watch the tv you can't watch it go home you go to your own okay what else other other things you you should not you said the credit card <laughs> Don't use credit cards. <laughs> no credit cards. I'm telling you by personal experience. No. <laughs> Never. You can't go to the party. Yeah. To your daughter, right? You can't go to the party. That's going to be bad. All right. You can't. Oh, very, really good. Now, now that you have said that, you have seen this already. And I know that. But I want to still check the pronunciation okay so let's see blanca please help me with permission all these sentences okay permission you can camp here here you are allowed to take off your shoes thank you so much camp 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 here camp here Allow. Remember, remember uh, that uh, the ed. How do we pronounce the ed in regular verbs? Well, in this case, it's a regular. Um, it's ed, but it's an, an adjective. But allowed. D, allowed. With the sound. sound, it's d because the present is allow. U sound is vowel, and if it is vowel, we say allowed. D allowed. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Allowed. Allow. Remember the ED. The ED is essential. What does it mean allowed? 
Uh, allow means, okay. I, Do you want to hear I, Spanish? I, sorry, yes. yes, but I, I forget. Like, for example, imagine, imagine you go to a party, uh, Blanca, but you don't have the, the vaccine for COVID. And then they say, oh, you don't have the, the, the vaccine, you don't have the shot, so you're not allowed to enter to this body. Like if you oh, go okay. to the stadium, that's allowed. They don't give you permission to enter. You're not allowed. You are, you know, the words prohibited. Not included. Okay, exactly. Okay. What about obligation? Let's see, Gerardo, read the obligations one line here. You have to come here. You go to take off your shoes. Good. Okay, you have to, and you've got to take, you got to take. Now, I think the first one, have to, is uh, something that we use really like, frequently, but then the, the second one, have got to, of, uh, and this, this is not that common. Now, I want you to think, how can we use this structure, not only with you, what about with other subjects? For example, she, uh, Breeze, uh, Nubia, Blanca, they, I want you to give me examples like using other subjects because only, only you, it's you know, too, too, um, too little practice, I would say. I want to hear more examples with other subjects. Can you please think about any and give me some examples? Other subjects, please. No. She has to come here. Say it again, please. <laughs> she has to come awesome. here. Awesome. I like it. She has to come here. That's what I wanted to hear. Has to. Has to come here. Come here. Very good. Give me other examples, please. Um, I have to wear glasses when I read it. Nice. Thank you so much. You're saying I. Very good. Give me other examples, please. Use your relatives, my wife, my husband, my kid, my daughter, my son, my boss, my- Permission, ex. obligation, and provision. Obligations. Uh, have, obligation. Yeah, only, only this one, because I want you to use uh, have to and get to. That's right. They have to cook. Yes, cook. My daughter has to pass the exam. Awesome, I like it. Give me example with got to, with got to, please. Use other subjects. My daughter has to clean your room. Her room, right, her room. Her room, her room. yes, yes. Yes. Teacher, sorry, I, I don't understand the difference between have to and got to. It's the same, both uh, express obligation. The only thing that changes is the structure. Now, um, if you're gonna say, like uh, somebody already mentioned third person, you have to say has. And if it is with, with got to, is she's got to. Basically, instead of this contraction, the one we have here, this one, let me, let me show you right now. Click it. The one that says, the second one that says here, uh, this one, the apostrophe plus be, that is have. Therefore, wow. if you want to say she is got to take off, she's got, she's, the uh, contraction is apostrophe and letter S. So that would be the, okay. the, the contraction. But if it is um, any other subject, you, we, and this is the same. If you want to say the full form is have got to, that's a full form, but it's not common to use it like this, like have got to, basically I say I've got to, I've got to take off, I got to take off my shoes, I've got to, you've got to, she's got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, that's the way they pronounce it, you've got to, you've got to, I've got to do that right now, I've got to pay my bills every month. <clears throat> You've got to, they got to, got to, got to, got to. That's the way they say it, okay? So yeah. in meaning, no changes, okay? Because it talks about obligation, okay? You have these two options, okay? Now, um, give me some other examples, please, with uh, got to. Other, I one have more. Got to. Uh -huh. Every day. 
Yes. Okay. I gotta go right now. <laughs> I gotta go right now. I got something um, pending. I've gotta go. I got yes. you. Yes. Um, must. It's like an obligation. Yeah, must is another way to express obligation. Yes, actually, must. It's not here because, uh, well, like I said, this is not the only way. <clears throat> This, this is not the only way to express obligation. There are other ways, okay? I can say, uh, for example, you're obligated to do this. I'm saying obligated or obliged. You know, those, those are verbs that we can use. Banned, prohibited. Those are verbs that we can use, but they say the word. Now, we can express the, these obligations without... Uh, without mentioning the word obligation. So that's the point. And must, as you said, it is one of those. Must is recommended. Must is mandatory. Must, it can be even rude. I mean, maybe not that rude, but that's really strong. You must, okay, must. No options, okay? What about third column? Prohibitions, you can't camp here. We have can't, can't. Can then aren't allowed to, aren't allowed to. The verb to be plays an important role here. If it is uh, I, I am not allowed to. If it is she, she isn't allowed to. So basically, the verb to be is going to be playing an important role here. Okay, verb to be. Do you have any example or any question? That you want do to do not drink and drive. Mm -hmm, sorry, yes, drink and drive, especially and drive. <laughs> beers, beers, right? Exactly, that's prohibited, that's a prohibition. Okay, good. What about uh, on the video? We have this, right? <clears throat> Permission, let's see, Gerardo, please help me. Use can or be allowed to example. You can park here. He is allowed to stay up late. Good, we have two examples. Uh, he is allowed to stay up late. You can park here. Yes. Permission, then not place permission. And maybe you want to write only that, that we can use can or be allowed. It says B because we, we already know that is is, um, are, and even can be in the past. You were allowed to park there. So basically the verb B can be in any tense, even in the future. For example, I will be allowed to enter to the party. So basically you can use B in any, any tense, past, present, and future, okay? So it depends. Uh, let's continue. What about the second one? Uh, Ibis, can you help me, please? Can you read this uh, slide? Okay, you can or not be allowed to. Example, he can smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. Thank you so much. Very good. They're not allowed to answer. Answer. Answer, er, answer the phone. Good. So this is, you know, another way to example. You can't smoke in the lobby. It's prohibited. That's not permitted. Okay. And the last one we have here, obligation. We have have to or have got to. This is the full form. Have got to. And I need uh, Nubia, please read the two examples you have. <clears throat> Obligation, use, uh, have to, or have got it. Example, you have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. He's got to pick up the trash. Very good. He's got to pick up the trash. Now, take it. Take it. Take it out. Okay. The garbage collector is going to pass in a minute. Good. And well, now let's practice. But before we practice, uh, let's answer these questions. Okay. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Now, because I know we all work, what about if we think personally? 
in our work. Okay, so you start writing, please. My work. What can I do? What am I allowed to do? And what do I have to do? So please take uh, three minutes and start writing at least two answers for each question. Okay, start writing, please. Let's take one more minute. <laughs> I can Okay, um, I don't know if you have any, any question before we start uh, sharing. Okay, we only have five minutes. Maybe share with me only one, one per each category. I want to hear your ideas, okay? What can you do at work? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Like no options, okay? Any volunteer, any volunteer to help me out, please? Uh, me? All right, sounds what perfectly. Uh -huh. What can you do? Mm -hmm. I can eat coffee with sweet bread. <laughs> nice. Uh, what are you allowed to do? To do? You allow to go with your friend only at the park. Uh, and what do you have to do? I have to exercise almost 30 minutes all day. Nice. You have to exercise. Good, Gerardo. Thank you so much. I just want to uh, tell you that to make sure to say you are allowed. Are no. I, you are allowed are 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 there to be but then thank you so much good examples good ideas okay choose the next person what about if you ask the next person yeah, okay um, Ibis. yeah sounds good Ibis. Yeah. 
the chosen Evis Mendes. What what are your ideas, Evis? Choose another another one, Gerard. Evis. Okay. Novia Raquel. Novia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Novia. Okay. It's the first uh, answer. I came to make inventories today. It's okay. Uh, remove two. I can't. I can't make 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 uh, inventories today. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, number two. I'm allowed, allowed, allowed. I'm allowed to work on Sunday. Oh, and and uh, and the three, I have to go to the gra graduation of my daughter tomorrow. Nice. If it is true, that's really good. Okay. Um. See, like a very nice and satisfying experience <laughs> even though it's like have to you it's an obligation yes but it's something really cool if it is true right but if it is only only example thank you so much Anubia. i need to listen to one more who do you want to listen to Anubia? excuse me who do you want to listen to next who uh -huh. Oh, um, Evis. Okay, Evis. Evis. Second time, Evis. Come on, don't, don't let us down. Evis? Evis is having... Or, or Bea. 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 Okay, Bea. Bea Durán. Yes, uh, can you please repeat? Can you share with us uh, the answers of the three questions? What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do at work? Everything at work. Okay, I, I, I can't um, listen the music uh, while I work. Uh, I, uh, I always, I, I always, uh, um, listen the music while I not in meeting. Allowed, uh, allowed. 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 Uh -huh. uh, that's it. All right, thank you so much. Guys, tomorrow, because time is over, tomorrow I'm going to start the class by asking two sentences per each category, okay, about your work. And if you can write more about things that you are you can do at home or you're allowed to do at home, please do it. The more you write, the better it is, okay? So practice as much as you can and see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Have a nice night. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye